Yo, what's going on everybody? So today I'm going to show you how to get the Year 3 Thorn. I finally got uh, the actual mission from the Bounty. As you can see, I handed the one of the Iron Lord. I think it's Iron Lord, I think that's what they're called. Bounties, you get them every week, or for a week. And it's just a random chance really to get it. Now what you need to do is, the first step is head to Eris. The first couple of steps are really straightforward and are like basically just kind of like really simple you can just read what to do but for the last couple of steps i do have a few really useful tips that will help you do it much faster so yeah eris said let's go to the uh the wretched eye you basically just do it on any difficulty and just complete it that's all you gotta do but yeah for the um there's one step in here where i have a i have a big tip and that will really help you guys complete it it would take probably a couple days if you didn't have the uh the proper equipment you need so after that, you'd need to kill 300 enemies on the Plague Lands, exactly 300. Uh, they have to be the, uh, either Splicers or um, Fallen, they can't be the Hive. Um, so this is where the tip comes in, you need to get Void Kills and Crucible. Now a good, easy way to get a Void Primary is just do Crota on hard and you can get the Word of Crota. You won't always get it, but miraculously, myself and the two people I was doing it with, we all got Word of Crota, which was pretty dope. So yeah, if you don't have a Void Primary, getting the Void Kills in Crucible is a pain in the ass. It's going to take a long time because one kill is 1% and a death is at around a half a percent. So on average, you're probably going to get around 200 kills. And to get that without having a Primary is rough. So you can see me there uh, smack that tight, try to shoulder charge me. To get that, use 5 modes of light, easy peasy, just like the year 1 bounty pretty much. Just following the same steps. Next up, go to the Abomination Heist. If you don't know where the Abomination Heist is, I show you. If you head over to Summoning Pits and set it to 320 light, it becomes the Abomination Heist. It is kind of different than just the regular Fogoth Strike. You do do, like, do do. You do some different stuff. And it's not even called Fogoth anymore. It's just Hive Abomination, which is kind of lack. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not appreciative of that. What the hell? But as you can see, you also do need a Skeleton Key for this. Sorry, I forgot to mention. You do need a Skeleton Key to actually open the chest to attain the Thorn. Um, I'm just popping the three coins here because gotta use them all, bro. Use the skeleton key, a little bit of lag, that's okay. You know, get the ogre grasp as well, and there you see the thorn. It only drops at 350, which is kind of a bummer, but what are you gonna do? So you can see, I actually didn't look at it. There we go. There's the thorn. It has, I'm pretty sure, the exact same perks it has a year one. Final round, send it, snapshot, and perfect balance with, of course, Mark of the Devourer, which, if you never, if you don't know what that is, it actually over penetrates targets and it. Um, puts a little dot on them, which is damage over time. So you can hit, I don't know how many actually enemies you can hit at once, but you can hit more than one enemy at one, one bullet, and it puts a little damage over time uh, debuff on them, which in some cases is really nice, but in most cases it won't be the most useful thing to have for your exotic. So it's a very situational exotic. You can see if you like it or not if you get this, uh, this, this specific mission from the bounty, but I hope this video did help you out if you do have the bounty, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.